Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Microsoft is announcing Windows 11 Insider Preview Build version 22.621.598 and the version 22.622.598. As you may know, lately Microsoft is releasing two different build versions. One of them is with features rolling out and the other one is with features turned off by default. But you can enable them easily. Based on the information that we have, this could be the last build version before Windows 11 22H2 version is released to everyone. So let's have a quick look what exactly will be improved with this build version that is just released now on the beta channel of Windows Insider Preview. So the first change will affect settings and for the time being you will not longer be able to uninstall apps with interdependencies. For example, Steam and gaming apps running on Steam or repair Windows 32 apps under settings, apps, installed apps. You will still be able to modify and install Windows 32 apps without interdependencies. So only apps with interdependencies will not be able to be uninstalled from this settings on Windows 11. Some of the fixes that they have done on this version is regarding the file explorer. So they fix an issue leading to a small set of insiders with launch folder windows in a separate process, not being able to launch File Explorer in the last two flights to an, an Explorer X crash. They fixed an issue where you couldn't interact with the top part of the File Explorer with the address bar when File Explorer was full screen. They fixed an issue where command bar items like copy, paste and empty recycle bin may unexpectedly not be enabled when they should be. They fixed an issue that creates a duplicate print queue. Because of this, the original print queue stops working. They fixed an issue that affects roaming user profiles. After you sign in or sign out, some of your settings are not restored. There is a known issue about this two build version and that is when you click on the network icon on the lock screen does not work and will crash the lock screen and may require you to reboot to lock in. After logging in, you can switch between wireless networks as needed. So basically with this build version, Microsoft is just fixing some small issues. Based on different articles on the internet, there are high chances that Windows 11 22H2 will be released to everyone by the end of September or beginning of October. That's all that I want to show to you guys today. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.